exchanges and clearing jumped two and a half percent to its highest closing in two and a half years. The stock market operator appears attractive because of the prospects of a host of listings, especially from new economy firms. Lenders were in demand with Bank of China leading the pack, gaining 6%. China Construction Bank, ICBC and HSBC were all higher. Investors looking for a rising star parked their money in SEMA Eye Care, which surged 32% to $9.73. SEMA made its debut on Monday, and its shares are now more than triple their offer price. Because the valuation is yeah, still reasonable and the uh, money info is strong, I expect uh, Hang Seng Index can find support and the 31,500 within the month, uh, the Hang Seng Index can climb up more than 2,000. The, um, the monthly target is the 34,000 to 36,000. Mainland stocks edged upwards as consumer and infrastructure firms advanced. The Shanghai Composite was 0.3% higher at 3,445 points. Jeff Tang, TVB News. Lawmakers are worried the soon-to-open Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge will bring even more traffic to the city and worsen the problem of a shortage of parking spaces in Hong Kong. These were issues they brought up to the transport chief at the meeting today when a walk felt as well. As the opening of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge looms, worries about it are also popping up. Secretary for Transport and Housing Frank Chan was at a legislative council meeting this morning to answer some questions about the mega project. Chan started off with saying officials from the three areas have already reached a consensus that once the bridge opens, border control facilities will be in operation 24 hours a day. The governments of the three sides are responsible for setting up their own BC apps which are located within their respective boundaries. In other words, upon commissioning, the Hong Kong BC app will not adopt a co-location mode of the clearance arrangement. The number of licenses to be handed out to Hong Kong cars has also gone up from just 3,000 to 10,000 now. According to estimates made by an independent consultant, the number of cars running on the bridge will reach 29,000 a day in the year 2030, and by 2037, 42,000. Can you tell us uh, what kind of uh, implications would, would it be on uh, our internal uh, transport uh, flow and internal traffic? Uh, the bridge is about to be commissioned. As I've said, if we do a projection now, it's not very meaningful because commissioning is imminent. We're talking about our 10,000 private cars with, uh, 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 with a permit, but the capacity of the bridge is much higher. We're not talking about 2030, 2037, because we need to set our sight uh, at a more distant future. And what about parking? And in the uh, boundary crossing facilities, uh, there will be only 500 spaces. So these vehicles will very likely to, uh, go to Tongchung for parking as well. But the government has uh, been able to tell us ultimately how many parking spaces will be made available. Chan said more parking spaces may be added to the facilities, but during the beginning stages, he hopes people will opt to use cross-border buses or other means of public transport instead. Wena Wang, TVB News. Turning overseas now, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has warned North Korea that if it doesn't choose to negotiate on giving up its nuclear weapons program, it could trigger a military response. Meanwhile, North and South Korea have agreed to march together under a single flag at next month's Winter Games in Pyeongchang. The two sides have also decided to form a joint women's ice hockey team. Alan Booking reports. Tillerson's comments came at a meeting in Vancouver of 20 nations that were on America's side during the Korean War. It does not include China or Russia. There was skepticism among the Allies over North Korea's sincerity in its recent diplomatic opening with South Korea. Tillerson declined to comment on whether Washington was considering limited military action following reports that some in the Trump administration are advocating that to give North Korea a bloody nose. But he did repeat that all options remain open. We have to recognize that that threat is growing. Uh, and if North Korea
Korea is not, does not choose the pathway of engagement, discussion, negotiation, then they themselves will trigger an option. Thank you very much, counsel. The two-day meeting was convened days after a mistaken missile alert caused panic in Hawaii, a stark reminder of fears of conflict with the North. Meanwhile, representatives of the two Koreas met again today in the Panmunjom demilitarized zone to discuss the North's participation in next month's Winter Olympics. The North will send around 230 people as a cheering squad. The two sides also discussed fielding a joint women's hockey team that would play under a unification flag. That would require the approval of the International Olympic Committee. The flurry of Olympics-related meetings has provided a tentative thaw in the long-strained ties, but the North's continued refusal to discuss its nuclear weapons program is raising doubts about how long this mood of reconciliation will last. Alan Brooknett, TVB News. A former... We will not be able to do it. It's a public service. Even the crime of the crime of the crime is like a big sea. We will not let any other crime. There is a support of the people and support. We will continue to be strong and strong. We will be able to protect the crime. We will be able to protect the crime. 我同好多打工仔一樣，每日都搏到盡，退休未諗啊 ！The MPF Default Investment Strategy or DIS has been launched. Key features are automatic reduction of investment risk according to MPF scheme members' age, fee caps, and globally diversified investment. If you've never given investment instructions, your trustee will send a notice to let you choose whether to invest your MPF benefit. Initial appearance of S. 大把地盤唔見你哋，係咪去咗口供嚟測試？註冊做試過啊，掉咗你哋。Well, U.S. President Donald Trump has been given a clean bill of health after undergoing the first medical checkup of his presidency. He also underwent a test to examine his cognitive abilities after growing questions surrounding his mental health. The health of U.S. President Donald Trump has been a hot topic, given his love of fast food and aversion to exercise other than golf. Trump's mental health has been called into question, especially after the publication of Fire and Fury, a book which painted a sensational portrait of a dysfunctional president. But in a recent medical exam, Trump passed the cognitive component of the physical assessment.